Hello, my friends. Nico here from Neural Frames. I've been building this platform to create videos from text. It's particularly suited to create music videos. And today I would like to show you how to create a video like this one. We will go through all the settings in under 10 minutes. Let's go. The first decision we have to make when creating a new project is which AI model we want to choose. Neural Frames has a total number of six so-called standard models. Those are popular AI models um, trained on specific use cases. For instance, we have three all-rounder models that can depict anything you would ever want. And then we have three specialists, for instance, for realistic vision, for analog uh, photography and for comics and mangas. Neural Frames also has the ability to train custom models. Here you can train an AI model on yourself or on any other object. This can look like this. But today we would like to pick a standard model. For instance, I really like the Dream Shaper model at the moment. So let's select this one. Next up, we have options to either upload an image which serves as a starting frame for the video or we create the first image ourselves. In this case, this is what I want to do. This brings us to the first frame editor. Here we can type in some text prompt which uh, describes what we want to see. My motivation for this music video is to show the evolution of humankind. So we could show a prehistoric cave with fire, something like that. We have a powerful button called Pimp My Prompt that uses AI techniques to enhance the prompt to describe it a bit better for the AI model. Then we can choose the format of the image. In this case, I would like to use 16 to 9 and we click on Render. Which brings us here. We have four images to choose from, which is the starting frame of the video. And let's say we like this one now. We pick that and we are in the video editor here. The video editor consists of three elements. The, the bottom element is the timeline. The timeline consists of three parts. One is for the prompt inputs. One is for modulation if we want it. And one is for music if we want it. Then we have the preview window here. And on the top left, we see just the settings in general. Now we would like to um, add a song actually. So I will do that. Double click on the audio timeline. Click agree and add a song here. And what Neural Frames does now is extracting the stems of the song. So you get the individual elements of the song, for instance, the snare. Or the kick drum. And the whole song, by the way, sounds like this. What we could do now is, is just render the prompt that we already have with some settings. We, we have certain type of um, trippiness settings that you can see here. Also, we have movement settings that we can select. And we also have a pro mode where we, we can influence the individual settings. We could just go ahead and render like this. And what we get then is, is, is this here. But since we want to make a music video, we can go one step further and add some modulation based on some element of the song. In this case, I like to um, add a modulation of the snare, which is always a cool effect. I would recommend picking either the kick drum, the snare or the hi-hats for modulation. But of course, you can also pick the other elements. So we can either double click on the modulation timeline or we can click here and, and get the snare element here right away. We can also make this larger. Right. It says now that for this audio source, we recommend to use a lower smooth value. To understand this comment, let's talk about um, the two important parameters um, that are here, strength and smooth. So the way these videos are generated is each image is fed into a neural network called Stable Diffusion to generate a new image. And the, the magnitude for how much the new image will differ from the old image is called the strength. So a high strength will form a very different image out of the old one, while a low strength will stick very much to the old image. This can be seen, for instance, here in this video, where you can see the strength being passed through 
and you can see that the images become more and more flickery. Sometimes you actually want it very flickery, for instance when you change the prompt, you change something or you don't like the image that you actually have, then you want to introduce a high strength to get the neural network off the old image that you didn't like and generate a new image from that. Now the other important parameter is the smooth. Between two neural network outputs, we actually interpolate the images. And, and the smooth is a magnitude for how much we interpolate between them. I have an example image here. For instance, a smooth value of 30. We introduce 30 in the images between two neural network outputs, making it much smoother. But also the image quality suffers a little bit from it. And you can see a low smooth actually makes the images much more flickery. You can see it again. Right. So the the comment that we saw here for the modulation that it recommends us to use a low smooth value means if we want to modulate the strength based on the snare and the snare is just a clap right it's a short amount of time if you have a high smooth there might actually be not a neural network output on the hit of the snare because it might be a smoothing frame and then you won't actually get a modulation of the strength so my recommendation, rule one, if you use modulation, use a low smooth value, for instance, two or one. Okay. If you're not in the pro settings, just use trippy. That's also fine. It's the same. Okay. This is very important. If you use modulation based on one of the rhythm elements, use a low smooth value. Otherwise, you will be very disappointed. And I really don't like disappointment of my users, by the way. One last thing, I would also not recommend you to change the smooth value um, mid-video. This usually looks a bit weird and also can lead to some weird behaviors. Choose a smooth value for the video and just keep it the way it is. Cool. So I would like to start without camera movement. So I will enter zeros here. What I will do now is I, I will keep a relatively low strength, something like 0.3. And because I have the modulation of the strength on the snare, the modulation of the strength will actually reach higher values, right? You can see it here. It will reach at the peak something like 0 0.6 of the strength value, which is already a reasonably high value. We can also go a little bit higher, but for now I would like to try it like this one. So the strength will be low most of the time, and then the snare will come and this, the strength will go up suddenly. Okay, cool. So we have the first prompt. I will add another one, maybe um, prehistoric caveman sitting by a fire. Click pin my prompt. We get something out. Nice. Add another prompt, something like prehistoric caveman fighting Neanderthals. Cool. Add something else. Early humans farm, early agriculture. Cool. Right, so maybe we can also start with some movement here, here already, slight zoom in maybe, keep it here also, all right, and then we click on render and um, see if we like the results or not. Now in neural frames, at any point in time, we can always watch what we created. And if we didn't like something, we could also change something here and then re-render from there. But actually, I think uh, what we created here is already fantastic, so we don't need to do that. What I'm going to do now is add more prompts until the end of the song, right? So here we have in total uh, something like 80 seconds. So I will do that, and then I show you the end of the video, the final video.